Thank you for your cooperation, Hooker. We appreciate you local boys catching our fugitives for us. Time to keep them in New Mexico this time. Wouldn't you like a shin spoons from chasing? Having on time for escape seven years, do it. To make it ten. He wants to thank the federal judges who are already rallying behind his bill. And then he'll proceed to Honolulu, where he'll meet with other key political figures to ask for their support to combat terrorism. Some of his critics have said the senator's bill goes too far, that it will only stimulate terrorists to even more extreme acts of violence. Do you have any comment on this? Uh, not at this time. Miss Raymond here will pass out press packets, which will explain the senator's position, Miss Raymond. Thank you very much. Senator, regarding this bill, I need to get a statement from you, please. Just let me say this. There is no extremism worse than the killing of innocent people. And I happen to believe that the American people agree with me, and I hope to convince my colleagues of that in Honolulu. Thank you. Thank you very much, Senator. <laughs> Mrs. Grail, do you think there's enough support in Congress to get this bill passed? Well, my husband is a very persuasive man. <laughs> Wait till you get closer. <laughs> I thought I'd never too big for you. Yes, you Can't wait. I take a suspect alive? Did I consider the alternatives before shooting? Well, did you? Sure, did I consider the alternatives? Him or me? I chose him. What do you got? 
Nothing so far. Our ammo file drew a blank. So did Sacramento's. There was no ID on the dead man. No papers, no passport. What about the APB and the guy that got away? Zip. We haven't heard back from the FBI yet or the morgue. Twelve hours. Still spinning our wheels. What's going on? Maybe the feds want to hit a home run with this one themselves. The United States Senator and all. The feds couldn't hit water if they fell out of a boat. I tell you, there's more to this than a couple of crazies looking for kicks. What do you the dead man's last words? Mimi no naka ni iri. There's no name or business on record that even comes close to that. It's not Vietnamese. Maybe Korean, Japanese. You sure you got the spelling right? I mean, you usually have trouble with parking tickets. <laughs> Hooker, it says here that an unidentified police officer who Senator Grail stopped to chat with probably prevented his being killed. Are you keeping secrets from us again? It's in my report, on your desk in Triple. Come on, humor me. Well, uh, Stuart Grail and I went to college together. We played football, chased girls. He was a hero to everybody. He went into law, got into politics. I became a cop. We stayed in touch with each other for a while, and then we lost contact. End of story. Not quite. But it does help explain the call that I got from the chief a few minutes ago. Well, um, how do you feel about a wing? Great onions, great potato chips. Why? Well, the senators requested you for special duty for the duration of his stay in Honolulu. A bodyguard. Personal security. A bodyguard. Come on, Pete, that's not my style. You know that. Now tell it to the chief. He's already assigned you Corrigan as your partner and Sheridan for personal assignment to Mrs. Grail. And the Hawaii police will cooperate. Hawaii? On the house? <laughs> no objections from me? He's your friend. He needs protection. And you need a tan, right? Was there something you wanted to say? Back your bikini, blue eyes. Welcome to Hawaii, Sergeant. I'm Tim Braddock. Thank you. This is Howie Kalanuma, Hotel hey. Security. How's it? Senator Grail asked us to meet you. Uh, this is Officer Stacy Sheridan, Jim Corrigan. Hi there. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Your car's right over here. Can't complain about the service. It's going to be nice having you with us. Very nice. Thank you. Oh, let me get your luggage. Tickets. Yeah, right here. Sergeant Hooker, you gave a seminar at UCLA last uh -huh. year. I'll take some police science classes and caught it. Top stuff, man. Oh, yeah, going to be great working with you. Well, thank you. <laughs> um, I'll get your luggage. You're here five minutes and you're already a celebrity. Of course. the action will be where the uh, senator's making a speech right down to work eh, Howie? hey i know that's how you want it done sergeant and i am on the case you gotta be kidding piece of cake all we need is an army to secure this place hooker you did say we're getting local backup right Howie. You got it, Frank, yeah? Who are we working with? Uh, Gus Kaliocchi, Hawaii Metro. He's a detective sergeant. Tough guy, man. Me? Ooh. Sounds like my kind of guy. Well, already he doesn't like you much, yeah? He thinks he ought to be in charge instead of you. Heard him tell the senator so. Welcome to paradise. Looking, but I bet you're not seeing anything. It's very perceptive of you, Stuart. Look, I know this routine is rough on you, but it's part of being a senator's wife. It'd make things a lot easier on me if you just warm up a little bit. I know how to carry out my wifely public image. Don't worry about that, Senator. Just remember, this island is my family's home. They have great pride and are respected. Don't shame them with some cheap little affair with some hotel maid. Don't get started on that again. Give me a break, huh? 
Senator, Sergeant Hooker's here. Thank you, Carol. Hooker! <laughs> Welcome to Hawaii. Thanks, Jared. Carol, will you and Harry check out my schedule with the desk downstairs, please? You know, things got a little bit hectic down at the federal building. I don't think you ever met, Barbara. Hello. Hello. You probably saved my husband's life, Sergeant Hooker. All I can say is thank you. I'm glad it worked out that way. <laughs> I know you two have a lot to talk about. Please excuse me. Anything new on the dead man at the federal building? They're doing an autopsy. Forensics has gone to work on it. They'll let me know if anything transpires. My people ask your captain some pretty tough questions about you, old pal. It's all true. Overdrawn on my bank account. Too much behind on my alimony. <laughs> And you gave up your detective shield to go back into a black and white? What kind of a move was that? I don't know. Maybe not as dumb as you. Single-handedly taking on terrorism? Maybe that's just self-preservation. Anyway, I believe in what I'm doing. If it happens to be good politics right now, so be it. What do you think of my dog? Bottom line, it's search and destroy, isn't it? Oh, no, that's an oversimplification. We've got to hit those terrorists where it hurts. Economic sanctions, cutting off arms sales, that's not going to do anything. You know, strange as it may seem, I never really personalized my stand into what happened at that federal building. That's why I asked for you. You're the best cop I know. What about the FBI? I wanted somebody I could trust on a more personal level. I know we, <laughs> we've kind of lost touch over the years, but I knew when I asked for you, you'd help out an old friend. There's not a hell of a lot of difference between politics and police work. It's both blood sports. Yeah. Play the game, you gotta pay the price. Well, you can keep the politics. My job is to keep you and your wife alive, and to do that, I'm gonna have to know everything you do before you do it. <laughs> the same old hooker. <laughs> found where you belong, right? Well, I found where I was needed, where I might do something, something that I think is important. Yeah, we used to talk about that, didn't we? How are we gonna change the system, redistribute the wealth? Remember? Yeah, well, you forgot our backup plan to marry rich wives in case. <laughs> uh, boy, we were some combination. Hook at a grail. Remember the cow game? Four touchdowns. And all those pretty girls out there. All those pretty girls. Uh, think you can still toss a football? Think you can still catch one? Oh, it's fun up. No, wait. Hey, hey, come on. Hey, hey, come on. Wait, 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 Do you report, McHugh? The policeman who interfered at the federal building is at the hotel with the senator now. That is a small prize. You should have died in shame with the foolish young Ashikura. I'm prepared to reclaim honor. There will be time for that. Meanwhile, we've received a telephone call from our employer. There's an important change in our plans. Do I have a part to play?
Your part is to hide this in the place where the senator will talk. And then I'll need proof of your marksmanship. Hi. Stay with the guest list. Do a background check on everyone. All the local radicals, extremists, anybody who's ever made threats against elected officials. Don't forget about the dead man at the federal building. We still have zip on him. Imi no naka ni iri. Gee, was it something I said, Hooker? What? Mimi no naka ni iri. It's Japanese. For what? For stick it in your ear. <laughs> Terrific clue, Hooker. Next time I see Citizen Kane, would you come along so you can explain Rosebud to me? Hey, uh, I didn't make you look bad, did I? I mean, I can't help it if I know Japanese. You have to be so young and so eager all the time. I can tone the eager down, but uh, young, I'm stuck with. Like we are with you. Hey, I'm your shadow hooker. At the feet of the master. You rock, I roll. Wonderful. Where's Kaliyoki? Did I tell you I already sent an application into the LCPD Academy? Why would you want to leave here? Hey, I figure I might end up working with you. Wouldn't that be a case? Okay, all right. Come on out there. Come into the office and you take it over like it's your own operation. I was told you'd cooperate. I'm having trouble requisitioning paper clips. That's because things get done around here when I approve them, Sergeant. I guess you might say I'm in charge of tourists now. We'll try not to steal the towels in the meantime. Here's a list of what I need. And stand by. Sure. Two snipers, a SWAT team, a chopper. Where the hell do you think you are, brother? Vietnam? Well, do I get it or don't I? I'll take it up with the captain. You do that. Hooker, let me explain something. You're not in L.A. or Chicago. We run a tight ship here, mister. Does that include stopping terrorism? There's never been any activity here. And that's because we know what we're doing. But you're not responsible for Senator Grail's life. I am. Don't push it, Hooker. I knew they'd like each other. It's a little more interesting. Yeah, I thought it was interesting. <laughs> See those rocks down there? The one who gets there last buys a winner around. Hey, wait a minute. There's an election coming up. Are you voting for me? Well, I, I, I did last year. Which I think I did. All you politicians are being disarmed and look alike. <laughs> if I win, I get your vote. Looks like I get your vote, and the drinks are on you. What the hell were you doing? Nice guys finish last, you know that. Is it worth it? Winning is always worth it. Come on. You're taking worse falls than that on a football field. It's not me I'm thinking about. It's the horse, it's leg. You want to stay with him? I get a trainer here in five minutes. It'll be okay. Is this the life? <laughs> Better than jocking a black and white through the ghetto? I don't know, Stuart. 
Jockeying in black and white through the ghetto can be fun. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Do it. Do it. John, here's a guy I was telling you about. He could thread a needle with a football from 50 yards. John McAllister. Yeah. Stewart's been telling me nothing but good things about you. Well, you know these politicians, how they exaggerate. Oh, not this one. No, sir. Stewart, you see that fat cat down there at the end of the bar? Well, just meeting you is going to make him lower his guard so much that I'm going to take a piece of prime waterfront away from him at my price. Did I forget to tell you that my father-in-law is also a pirate? <laughs> Never mind that. Now, come on. I want you to soften him up for me. Look, okay, the place is yours. Just make yourself comfortable. <laughs> but leave some of the ladies for me. <laughs> Tucker, we're about to have a security check run through at the hotel. Good. How's Howie doing? He's on top of things like a lid. <laughs> Believe it, like white on rice, Hooker. Stacy's with Mrs. Grail. Hooker, I was with Mrs. Grail. She ditched me. I don't think she likes me tagging along. Aren't you enjoying your guests, Barbara? His guests, Mother, not mine. You are married to a powerful man, like I am. We must have the courage, and sometimes the ability to look happy when we are not. Do you understand? Forgive me. Didn't mean to intrude. <laughs> Not at all. From here you can see Polly. That's where Kamehameha fought his great battle. They say that his enemies threw themselves off the cliff rather than surrender. You love the islands, don't you? Yes. I belong here, you understand? Yes, I think I do. What about Stuart? Stuart is more interested in people. I know the lack of privacy is unsettling, but I must insist that one of us be with you at all times. you to be discreet. What are you talking about? You said you had to come back early to go over the notes for your speech. So I did. You're not as good a liar as you used to be, Stuart. And not nearly as careful. You know, one of these days you're going to push me. Just a little bit too far. Tell my father you said that. And he might cut off your allowance. Yes, this is the senator's first trip to Hawaii, and he's enjoying himself very much. However, he is here for the purpose of creating... He's got his own independence. They'll, they'll probably work with us. Stacy. And his wife are here now. They're going on stage.
hooker. I think I got something. I'm going to check it out. Something's wrong. I'm on my way. Okay. Uh, Senator's fine, but uh, Mrs. Grail had to be sedated. A woman was killed, so they were both lucky. Now, do you have enough security up there? Yeah, if there's a problem, I'll give you a call. Okay. I was worried about you. I can handle it. Thank you. Okay. What happened? He got away. Any prints? Yeah, maybe. Mostly smudged. The weapon's a special job, custom built. It's gonna give us a hell of a time trying to trace it down. What about the suspect? You men are getting an ATV out of him. Asian 30. Not much to go on. Hooker! Hooker! I saw him! I saw him! The guy who did the shooting. I know him anywhere. I got a thing for faces. Hey, settle down. Describe the man you saw to this office over here. Tom, let's get it on the air right away. Okay. This thing is a work of art. Yeah, which brings up an interesting question. Yeah. How did he miss hitting the senator? Hooker! There's something else. Senator Grail was standing about there, right? And Mrs. Grail was over here. Yeah. Make me a sketch. Everybody's location at the time of the shooting. Find every bullet hole and mark them. And O'Brien must have got something from the coroner by now. I'll call him. You stick with Sergeant Calliope. Give him all the help you can. Hey, Hooker. It's out of your hands. A crime was committed here today. This is Hawaii, remember? This is my jurisdiction. I don't work for you. You work for me. It's still my job. You don't want to cooperate? Say the hell out of my way. Hey! Something's bugging me. 
You want a job? Name it. That sniper posed as a waiter. I want you to check the security passes, see who they were issued to. <laughs> there are 200 people out there. Lucky there wasn't a thousand. You want to be a copper, don't you? Hey, you're my man, right? If you say it, it's the Bible. And start with Genesis now. Got it. A hooker. The coroner found traces of a natural toxin in the blood and lower digestive tract of the man you shot. What kind of a toxin? Well, that's the weird part. It comes from a special fish, a blowfish. It's considered a delicacy in Japan. Well, that proves that our man was in Japan at least 24 hours before his death. That fish isn't eaten anywhere else but Japan. I'll get a report on the prints from Tokyo via Hawaii Metro. Where are you headed? Kalioki is giving us about as much cooperation as an IRS auditor. I'm going to change that. How? By going over his head. See us, Captain. Come in. The news is full of your action, McHugh. A woman panic ran into my line of fire. The federal building you're supposed to kill and failed. At the hotel today, you're supposed to fail. And you killed? Give me the knife. drugstore across the street there's a doctor when he tended to you come back with everything that's going on I thought you might know something that would help put the puzzle together if you're referring to the senator, I am just his pressing. Who must know his every move and every enemy. Hey, I'm looking for a dinner date here, and you're giving me the third degree. Well, I might be interested in dinner, if you're interested in talking about the public image you've created for the senator. How real is it? Nobody's perfect. But what goes on behind closed doors has nothing to do with the shootings. That could be. But there's a lot of things we don't understand about this case. All we know for sure is that people are getting killed, and it could happen again. Yeah, well, let's just hope it doesn't. Good night. Good night. Hey, 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 how's it, Rick? It's Howie. Look, I want to find out if... What do you mean, what really went down? You were there, weren't you? You were supposed to mingle. What? Oh, great. You're putting my butt in the ring, or I count on you, Rick. Where'd you meet this guy? Okay, look, I don't want to talk on the phone. Meet me at the same place. Maybe we can check him out. You can see the pattern. They were trying to kill Barbara? Does that make any sense? Not to me, it doesn't. I mean, hitting Barbara wouldn't stop Stewart's bill. In fact, public sympathy would probably guarantee its passage. Well, maybe they meant it as a warning. To scare him into withdrawing it, or they kill his wife. That bomb of the federal building was no warning. No, that doesn't track for me. Then where does that leave us? That's a very good question. What do you got, Jim? Not much. Kalioki told me he might have a lead, but he wanted to run it by his captain first. 
Hooker, what happened when you talked to the captain about Kalioki? Are we going to get any more cooperation? Not unless Kalioki divorces the captain's sister. He is not. The captain's brother-in-law. I can't believe you, Rick. Selling your pass is so good you met a joint like this. I hang out here sometimes. So does this guy. There's a lot of girls here, you know. He's hot for one of them. I guess I was talking to her about the work of the senator's speech this afternoon, and he overheard me. This is probably going to cost me everything I've been working for. How much, huh? How much? 200 bucks. Hey, he said he was a big fan. He couldn't find a ticket to buy. I didn't see anything wrong with it. I can't cover for you, Rick. I gotta phone it in. That guy may be the sniper, understand? The guy that I sold my pass to. Yeah, we got him. Hey, bro, don't move. Okay? Okay. <laughs> hey. Hooker. Hey, it's Howie. I found him, Hooker. The guy who did the shooting. Where are you, Howie? How far away? The Ochi Bar on Front Street near Mason. You can get here in five minutes. He went into the back room now. Two minutes ago. All right, now listen to me, Howie. Don't play cop. Get out of there as fast as you can. I'm on my way. You got it. Jim, you stick with the senator. Stace, come with me. We're out of here. You don't have to twist my arm. Excuse me. Excuse me. Howie, I'm sorry. I had no idea that that guy was going to do anything like that. He just told me he needed okay, a okay, ticket. Okay. It's third, bro, yeah? I'm just looking for a cab, yeah. You're a hell of a cop. Hooker.
What we have to remember is that the human values that we all cherish mean nothing to these terrorists. They want us dead, and that's the bottom line. Senator, has the dead terrorist been identified yet? Have the terrorists made any demands? <laughs> Will this help your legislation? Uh, this is the kind of question I think better be directed to the police. They're in charge of the investigation. But let me just tell you where I stand. A woman has been killed. My bill will close down these terrorists that do that kind of thing. In order to accomplish that, I would gladly change places with that woman right now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Excuse me. Excuse me. I have to. Thank you. If they voted on my bill right now. How do you think I'd make that? You'd be a winner. It may have been worth a say. I know you did. No, I'm sorry. What's wrong? Howie. He was killed tonight. Oh, no. How? The terrorist he said he could identify made sure that he wouldn't. Gosh, that's terrible. How he gave us something else. The man that killed him had a bandaged hand. Make sure that Kalioki gets that out on the wire, will you? Well, by the way, the uh, videotape of the federal building bombing came in and... Uh, something else, but we'll check it out later. Is there anything I can do? Maybe set up a memorial trust for his brother or sister or something? You know, that young man died like a soldier. And I can use him as a symbol of everything that's No, don't to. use him. For anything. He didn't die like a soldier. He died like a cop. On a filthy street with a knife in his gut. Don't use him, Stuart. Just don't use him. Get another officer. Stay with the senator. to go ahead with our original plan. There will be a farewell luau for the senator tomorrow at the McAllister estate. When they return to the hotel, we'll make our attack on the road. Any questions? You have a problem? Ginzo. There are policemen and maybe others who will die tomorrow. This island is small, so how do you expect to keep the trail from leading back to us? They're looking for terrorists. I'll give them what they want. Hey, what you like, Holly? Hey, I already talked to the cops yesterday. If you think that badge is going to get you a free beer, you're wrong. You know, to us, you're just another FOB fresh off the boat Holly in a Hawaiian shirt. Why don't you just get lost? You want to discuss what I am? You want to answer some questions? <clears throat> okay, okay. The kid was killed on the streets out there last night. The man who did it came from that back room. Who is he? I don't know. Hey, I just work here part-time, okay? All I know is some big-shot Japanese guy rents that for meetings sometimes, and that's it! This guy you're talking about, I don't know anything about him. Hey, I'm telling the truth, okay? Try Hawaii Metro.
Bishamon. What does Bishamon mean to you? I don't know nothing about no Bishamon. Yeah. Your car radio. What do you got? Special delivery from the People's Strike Force. Kalioki got this letter about an hour ago. He has files in every crook in the islands. He says he knows who might have put the show together. To meet him at the dump site and a rainbow drive if you went in on the action. It could be the wrap up. I don't know. It's too easy. It isn't smart. Hey, these guys wear grenades, not five beta kappa keys. Well, they've been smart up to now. Anyway, if I'm wrong, I don't want to be there. You two go back to the hotel. Stick with Barbara and Stewart. But that street's swarming with Calliope's people. Their safety is our job. Do it. Right on time, hooker. That's our suspect lives in that bus there. Who is he? David Oharu. Spent a year after he talks Naro to Siamri. Last time I was here, he gave me a glass of wine. No trouble. But he's a bomb expert and he's dangerous. Okay, guys, let's go. Why didn't you bring him in to begin with? I did, but I couldn't tie him in. Now with that letter, I can. The People's Strike Force. That was the name of the outfit he started in college, okay? in your bedroom. One day you flush the john. Boom. Yeah. Somebody flushes it for you. What happened? Our suspect blew up. Literally. Well, maybe this will point us in the direction. Tokyo came through with an ID on the man you shot at the federal building. And Osoka Ashikura. Three arrests, no conviction, racketeering, loan sharking. Member of the Yakuza in Kyoto. But how do they fit? I mean, they're gangsters, not terrorists, right? Right. What the hell have we got here? Kalioki is out there trying to throw a net over the rest of his radicals, but I think this thing's got to be rethought. Couldn't the Yakuza be tied in with some kind of terrorist group, like the Red Army? It's hardly likely. The Yakuza is a tradition in Japan. Their motive is profit, not revolution. The question is, why would the Yakuza want the senator dead? Maybe they don't. Remember, the bullet pattern on the stage was around Barbara, not Stewart. Why would they want Barbara dead? I mean, who would want Barbara dead? You know, I didn't want to mention it in front of Stewart, but in those personal background checks you want me to run on everybody, I came across something interesting. Take a look. Stewart has no financial resources of his own. None? But when he married Barbara, John McAllister set up a blind trust for them as a wedding gift. Fifteen million dollars. Wow. To be paid to the survivor upon the death of either. Could be a hell of a lot of motive. No. I mean... Stewart's ambitious, but... He's into John McAllister for millions more. Campaigns, high living. He even had to pay off a couple girlfriends along the way. You mean the senator's cheating? He's playing with dynamite. In more ways than one. Would Papa stand for that? He's a proud man. I mean, it is his daughter who's being cheated on. John McAllister came from nowhere. He was a guy from the wrong side of the tracks. And proud. Yeah, he'd want to keep a United States senator in the family. For a lot of reasons. You know, if the senator did want to kill his wife... This terrorist thing would be a perfect cover. Nobody would even question. But how did the Yakuza fit in? Wait a minute. 
When a member of the Yakuza fouls up, he regains his honor by cutting off one of his own fingers. So the man with the knife and the bandage on his hand. I've been thinking about Howie all this time. But that finger, that finger had to bleed. Yesterday, you treated a patient for an injury to his hand. My guess is he had lost a finger. I don't discuss my patients, please. Doctor, yesterday a boy was killed on the streets. I think your patient was involved. Who are you? I'm working with your local police. What's the name of your patient? He was a stranger. Gave no name. Said he'd had an... Accident. His finger had been cut off? His little finger cut off at the middle joint. I treated him and he left. He came from the Ochi bar. Who sent him? Was it the man who holds meetings in the back room? He is a very powerful man. What do you know of him? I know that he is Yakuza. Please. Shimon. One of the seven gods of good fortune, I looked it up. Yes, also protector of the samurai, uh, the god of war. And courage. The god is said to place honor above everything else and to do what you know is right. Doctor, the boy who died out here on the street, he was 21. Just starting his life. Help me. What else does Bishamon stand for? Bishamon was one of the seven gods who sailed in the Takara Bune, a boat, a very elegant boat. Boat. Thank you. You don't like that one, huh? No. All right, let's try this. Uh, to protect us all from pernicious influences. <laughs> You're the pernicious influence. And don't you love it? I think so. Excuse me. Do you a favor and not answer that. I'm looking for Stuart. He's over there pursuing his favorite hobby. Stick with it. I don't know who's currently being employed. Hooker! Carol, would you give us a few moments, please? Thank you. What about this terrorist who blew himself up? I'll let Kalioki tell you about that one. No, I'm interested in your evaluation. That's why I'm here. I haven't made my mind up about the bombing of the federal building. The shooting here was either a phony or your wife was the target. What are you talking about? The bullets made a pattern around her. Not one came this close to you. It doesn't make any sense. It does, if you have a logical reason. A strong motive. Like wealth, power, ambition. I see. My very good friend pokes around in my personal business, decides he doesn't like my philosophy of life, and comes up with a crazy idea I'm trying to kill my wife. What's this nonsense all about? Tell me about the Yakuza, Stuart. What do a bunch of loan sharks have to do with this? A man I killed. 
He's been identified as a member of the Yakuza. That doesn't prove anything. It was a work of terrorists, pure and simple. I thought the police were on top of all this. The man that killed Howie. That little finger cut off. That's an old Yakuza custom to restore honor. After failure. Am I right, Mrs. McAllister? Yes. I lived in Tokyo many years. I know about Yakuza. But they are active only in Japan. Stuart. You want me off the job? Oh, no way. I want you on the job right till the end. Because when you're proven wrong, I'm going to rub your nose in it. Tell me about honor, Mrs. McAllister. To the Yakuza, personal honor always comes first. Am I wrong? On my way to see you. Well, that's a switch, Sergeant. I'm looking for a man, Kalioki. Japanese. Probably very rich. He's uh, respected. Powerful. Owns an expensive boat. Well, I think I know about six guys that fit that description and probably a hundred more that I don't even know about. The name of this boat is the Bishimon. What are you up to now, Hooker, huh? You do know. He's a man very friendly and helpful to the government of this city. He donates to all the good causes and runs a strictly legit import business, like you said. Respected. Kalioki, what's his name? Ginzo Nembutsu. Hooker, don't get in over your head, huh? What do you want with this Nembutsu? He was at the Ochi bar. He sent a man to a doctor to get the stub of his finger stitched up. Then it's been Yakuza from the start. Yakuza have been pushing all the buttons. Now I'm going to push a button. You want company? Not this time. This time it's strictly a matter of personal honor. Private Bolt. I want to see Ginzu Nambutsu. No. You get off now. That's all right. I'll see him. Apparently know of me. And I sense a very angry man. Why? How can I help you? Why don't you cut out the polite routine? I know a piece of yak is a scum when I step in it. Wherever you are, you're making a mistake. No, it's your mistake. Taking up assassination as a sideline. Who are you supposed to kill? The senator? Or his wife? Oh, I see. You are the policeman from California. Now I remember you were in the television news. Also in the news was the information that the terrorists were being arrested. But we know the truth, don't we? <laughs> you are a reckless man. <clears throat> Break his neck! I could bust you for that knife, Nambutsu. But I don't want to. I'm going to take you down, right into the sewer where you belong. And I'm going to do it in a way that's going to hurt you the most. Get back or I'll break his neck. I say get back. You're nothing, Nimbusu. Your yak is a trash. Garbage. Man, I 
I'm easy to find. I quite understand. We'll handle it that way. At what time? Yes. There are certain alterations. A surprise for certain people. But we'll carry out our plans to the same ends. Sorry, Mare. That policeman, it would be easy for me to put a bullet in his head for you. Are you worried about my honor or losing your share of the money should anything happen to me? Maybe both. I respect an honest man. My honor will be cut free by this sword and by these hands. Regarding this bill, may I please get a statement from you, Senator? Just let me say this. There is no extremism worse than the killing of innocent people. I'm going to run that film in hand again. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. Thank, Thank you. Mrs. Grail. Mrs. Grail, do you think there's enough support in Congress to get your husband's bill passed? My husband is a very persuasive man. All right, you see? The senator is definitely in control of where they are going and when. Yeah, but he's up front. If he hadn't seen you and stopped. That's true. Nambutsu had a visitor. John McAllister. And there is a tie-in. Looks like, but McAllister's record's clean. What about his financial background? Well, there were some unsecured cash loans when he first started buying land here in Oahu, but those loans are from his wife's brother. So Stuart ties into McAllister, and he ties into Nimbutsu. Yeah, it always comes back to Nimbutsu. Tell me something, why did you go after him the way you did? Because this whole thing was very carefully planned by some. Maybe we can stop that plan, maybe we can't. So? so the Akas is a well-oiled machine. Try to throw a monkey wrench into it. Get them excited, mad, scared. Force them and the people they're working for to deviate from that plan. Make a mistake. By coming after you? That they will. Count. Look up! I got a citizen's complaint against you. The bartender at the York, he says you walked in and you roughed him up. Now he's threatening to sue the city for violation of his civil rights. Didn't leave a mark on him. Damn it all, Hook. I warned you not to throw your weight around. The brass is screaming down my neck now. What about that upright citizen, Ginza Nimbutsu? No complaint from him? Now, I find that very interesting. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Spell it out for me, huh? Now, he's got a legit beef. I threw him to the sharks. Sharks threw him back. You roughed up Nimbutsu. Why? Because he's the man that sent someone to kill Howie Kalanimla. Because he's the one that brought the Yakuza to your front yard. And you know it. You know something? You're crazy. I'm tired of listening to your fairy tales, mister. What's going on? I know exactly what's going on. So does he. We 
you should go straight to the hotel, Mrs. Grail. There's not a lot of security on this road. Just for a minute or two. No one knows where we are. I'm safe. This is my favorite place. Stuart and I used to come here when we were first married. Things were different then. I appreciate your kindness, Stacy. I wish things could have turned out differently for all of us. So do I. I mean that. But I think we should get going. Message right, Mrs. Grail's disappeared. That's right, and Officer ah. Sheridan. They left you to go to the hotel and never arrived. Mrs. Grail's car was found abandoned at a viewpoint in the canyon road about 15 minutes ago. Mookie, get a unit out there. Possible kidnapping. Put out a broadcast. Dig up a photo of Mrs. Grail. Give them a description of Stacy, will you, Jim? Sure. Ah, Senators, why, fuck it. It's gonna be hell to pay now. That's right. It's gonna blow your yak as a contacts right out of the water. You don't know what you're talking about. The hell, I don't! How long did it get the lid on from the boots in? You don't know how things are done here. Things are done a certain way. You don't always have a choice, so you go along. Every Look up. cop faces that problem. Sooner or later, you gotta make a choice. Okay. Look, I don't want anybody killed. Let me work with you. Please. Let me work with you. You got it. Any news? We've got everything in motion, Senator. I, I gotta tell you, I'm real sorry about what happened here, sir. Her safety was your responsibility, Hooker. It still is. And Officer Sheridan's life is on the line, too. You're gonna stop playing games. I wanna get down to the truth. You're the one that's playing games, Hooker. Now it's with my daughter's life. Let's start with you, Mr. McAllister. Why don't you tell me what your connection with the Yakuza is? You still on that? Get off it, Hooker. Officer Corrigan saw you go aboard the yacht Bishamon and have a meeting with Ginza Nabutsu of the Yakuza. You've done nothing wrong, John. And it has nothing to do with Barbara. Tell him. All right. Well, years ago when I... when I started out with... Nothing but an ambition. I needed capital to buy land, so I borrowed it from the only one who could loan it. Paid it back, but I was in their records. They also take a percentage. Excepting that this man... This man was a friend. And he didn't claim the percentage. This man... Was your brother, wasn't he? You're quite correct, Sergeant Hooker. He died a year ago. And Nabutsu took over, checked the records. And came after the act was a share. What'd you do about it? Last night, I agreed to pay it. What he's saying is true. There's no reason for the Yakuza to kidnap your daughter. Hello, Mrs. McAllister speaking. It's them. They want to talk to you. Hooker. Yes, I understand you perfectly. How do I know they're all right? Let me speak to one of them. They'll trade the ladies for us, you and me. 
They've given us ten minutes to get to a phone booth on Old Mill Road. They'll call us there. Wait a minute. I don't want you to go either, but I need you. But what can I do? I'm no cop. There's no choice. How do we know where they're going to send you, Hooker? At least let me get you wired. Hey, what about backup? Maybe a chopper. There's no time. Check the phone booth after we leave. But give us some air. They'll be watching. Hooker, what's really bugging you? You. Everything about you. What you've become. <laughs> Come on, that's politics. Public wants an image of you. Find yourself becoming whatever sells. No, it's more than just politics. You used to be clean. Now I find you into the same dirty laundry I have had to handle all my life. Maybe I, I have reached a little bit too hard for the brass ring and grabbed everything in sight. And God knows I, I've been a lousy husband, but I'm not a killer. The jury's still out on that one. How can you say that? You were right there at the party. You saw Barbara. She wouldn't even talk to me. I had no idea she was going any place. How could I? You stay here. Hooker. Okay. Yeah. We're both here. If you've got somebody watching, you know we're alone. Where? We're rolling. Set it up. What are we going to do when we get there? We're going to make it up as we go along. You going to be okay? Yeah, sure. I'm fine. I was just worrying about Barbara. And Stacy? Yes, of course. Stacy. Take care of this first.
I know about honor. Hooker to Grail, still a winner. Lucky. Yeah. Nambutsu? Nambutsu? Out of sight. Out of mind. Hooker. They're okay. Yeah. The guy you winged told us where they were. You look good. Hey, you too. Are you all right? I wasn't uh, harmed. They hurt you? We almost didn't find what you wrote in the phone book. Yeah. You did real nice, Sergeant. Leaves one more thing. Who hired the Yakuza? What do you mean? Who had the motive and the opportunity? Who had the connections with the Yakuza? Who wanted who dead and badly enough to go to any extreme? Do you know, Hooker? I do now. It was the person who came into the Federal Building Rotunda last and was first on the stage at the hotel. To throw suspicion on the Senator. A red herring. The person who planned that had family connections to the Yakuza. Oh, just because my father-in-law is being pushed by Nambutsu, that doesn't tie him into this. That's right. You gave me the answer, Stuart. Neither of the McAllisters knew that Stacy or Mrs. Grail were heading for the hotel any more than you did. Nobody knew where they were going other than myself, except two people. So the kidnapping was just to get... Stuart here. To be killed. I belong to Nimbutsu. I counted on that. Well, where does that lead us? To me. To me, Stuart. I didn't want anyone hurt. Except you. I wanted you dead at any cost. God. I always was afraid of you, Hooker. But you're going to have to prove all of this. And I'm going to fight you all the way. I'll see you in court. Oh, I'm sorry, Clay. I'm so sorry. Let's go. This is Greer. Hooker. 
I have something I have to tell you. It's all been said. No, no, it has not been said. I've done so many things wrong. I'd like to start to do things right. That offer I made to you about working with me, that still goes. I've learned a heck of a lot from you. I'd like to be teammates with you again. I've learned a lot too, Stuart. I prefer the streets. They're cleaner. 